a heartbreaking discovery in East Point where police have been searching for a toddler. Two-year-old Josiah Mitchell disappeared more than a week ago. Police drained ponds, canvas neighborhoods, searching for the little boy. Today, a body was found. Atlanta News Source reporter Chelsea Bindford reports at East Point Police Headquarters where police broke the news this afternoon. While they're still waiting for DNA confirmation, East Point police believe the body belongs to the missing toddler and it was buried under piles of trash. This has been a very traumatic case. East Point Police Chief Sean Buchanan confirms investigators found a small child's body inside this trash transfer facility Wednesday. He says it's likely the body of two-year-old Josiah Mitchell, who was initially reported missing by his father, Artavius North, earlier this month. I don't think this is a coincidence since that two-year-old child was missing. The body's the size of a two-year-old. Chief Buchanan says search warrants and other information led investigators here to the transfer station on South Martin Street. We can tell you that the trash that we looked in was picked up from near the father's apartment. Josiah's father initially told police his son was kidnapped during an armed robbery on August 16th. Police quickly determined that wasn't true and North was arrested the next day for making false statements and filing a false report. Chief Buchanan says North is now the primary suspect in the toddler's death. I want to make it clear we are looking at the father as a suspect and want to charge him with the highest charges possible to make sure he never gets out of jail. <laughs> Chief Buchanan says this is not the outcome anyone was hoping for, including investigators who were visibly shaken following Wednesday's gruesome discovery. It's just a, a two-year-old can't really defend himself, and it's unfortunate that this happened to them. The child's family was also here at the police station earlier tonight, of course devastated by the news and did not want to speak with media. Reporting in East Point tonight, Chelsea Bime for Atlanta News First.